this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video I'm going to be joined by Squishy, and Squishy, it looks like you decided to actually show up today, huh? What happened? I had you all scheduled to play the mini game in the last episode. What did you do? Did you just forget? Did you sleep in? What's going on? It's ridiculous. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter because you are here. And actually, uh, we got to meet a new friend uh, as well who was able to uh, to join in and helped us out uh, playing the uh, the game. And uh, hopefully you can all... Oh! And here she is, speak of the, uh, speak of the devil. <laughs> this is Viva Dash. This is uh, one of my newest Minecraft helpers. So yeah, uh, Squishy, please meet Viva Dash. <laughs> and uh, while they uh, get to, to know each other, uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to have my breakfast. I've had uh, another attempt at uh, making a tasty cake. And I tell you what, <gasps> this cake actually smells delicious. It actually smells like it's going to taste really good. So I'm actually uh, looking forward to, to tasting it. So nom, 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 it doesn't quite taste the way it smells. It does taste a little bit like soap. It definitely tastes like soap. I don't know, maybe it cleaned my mouth there. Blah. No, that wasn't actually uh, quite uh, as nice as I thought. But you know what? Cake is cake, and I love cake, so <laughs> I guess I can't complain. And I also love Barnaby. So Barnaby, uh, once again, slept in my room. Let's go and uh, drop you off at the uh, the dog house soon. And uh, yeah, we can go and pick uh, a new dog uh, to, to join us for the uh, the episode then. I'll tell you what, Barnaby, you can just join us for the, the episode. There we go. Today, I am going to take Barnaby. Barnaby's going to be joining me. <laughs> uh, but someone who's going to be joining me as a sign in my love garden is CJ. And that is because he made a stampy cat bow tie and you can see uh, some pictures here of him with his uh, parents on a cruise and he's there wearing the other uh, bow tie and apparently uh, loads of people came up to him and recognized it and he's also got some squid cufflinks as well so <laughs> i wanted to say thank you very much for making the bow tie and uh, sending me the pictures and welcome to my love garden right then I don't need to go to the doghouse today because I already have my uh, dog with me, Barnaby. Uh, so what I'm going to do is head straight to the Funland because we are going to start building a brand new mini game. Well, it's actually not a brand new mini game. It is a reimagining of an old mini game. Uh, there's a game that I built a while ago that you might remember that is called Berry Berry. And the uh, the oh. Excuse me, Squishy. I wanted to, to go down there as well. It's, it, can, can I squeeze? Get, get, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's a game uh, called Berry Berry. And uh, the idea of the game was you had to bury berries. And uh, you'd had to put them in the ground. And then the uh, the other player would be doing the same. And then you switch sides. And it's the first person uh, to dig up all of the other person's berries. And I always thought it was a fun game. But we never played it too much. Uh, but yeah, I thought of a new idea uh, where we could redo the game. Uh, but hopefully make it more exciting and fun. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is Berry Berry in space <laughs> so it's going to be like the original game but this time it's going to be set in space and rather than randomly digging to find the berries you are going to be able to use an x-ray pod that's right i'm going to have an x-ray pod which is going to allow you to look through the floor so you can try and guess where the uh, the berries are going to be and then you can go and dig them up and rather than just being able to randomly dig everywhere you're only going to be allowed to dig the same amount of holes as the other person has buried berries and so uh, you're going to have to look through the ground, see where the berries are, and try and remember where they are. You then go up to the uh, the ground where the berries are going to be, and you then have to try and dig in the exact right place. So it's uh, kind of similar to the, the old game, uh, but in other ways, completely different. <laughs> so let's, see, so let's go and have a look at the uh, the old Berry Berry game. And hello, Beaver. <laughs> let's go and have a look at the uh, the old game, shall we? And uh, let's uh, uh, show you that one, and uh, then I'll show you how the, the new one's going to, to be different. So this is uh, the old, boring Berry Berry game. Well, it's not boring, but the new one's hopefully going to be more exciting. <laughs> and uh, basically, yeah, there's these two rooms uh, in the uh, the trees, and uh, this one's got red berries in, and I think the other one has blue berries in, if I remember correctly. And yeah, you would normally just bury them under the ground, and then the other person has to, to dig around and try and find them. Uh, so it was a very simple game, and uh, this one uh, is still pretty simple, uh, but going to hopefully look cooler and uh, be more fun. So we're actually uh, building it right through here and um, uh, yeah so it's going to be uh, themed as if it's uh, in space so rather than doing normal trees with wood uh, we're actually going to be building out of some rather unusual materials uh, one of the uh, the sides of trees is going to be made out of obsidian and yellow wool so obsidian is going to be like the uh, the branches and then yellow wool is going to be like the uh, the leaves so I need to start building uh, about here and I want to be very careful here because it's annoying when you uh, put uh, obsidian in the uh, the wrong place and then have to go and try and uh, destroy because it, it takes ages 
is. Uh, but yeah, I now need to build uh, 19 blocks along. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 13 along in this direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, like this. And then this is going to, to make a, a big box. So Squashy and Viva, if you carry on building this, and we want to build up a little bit higher. So we want to go probably about uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, about 5 or 6 up, and then these are going to be the uh, the branches. And then we're going to have a little bit in the, the middle, and uh, this is going to be made out of sandstone, but it's going to be sandstone, glowstone, and then orange stained clay as well. And this is supposed to be kind of like alien space rock. <laughs> That's the uh, the idea. So this is going to go seven blocks along. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we just need to do a box the uh, the same size uh, here, uh, but this time it's going to be birchwood. The, uh, the trees on this side are going to be birchwood, and then the leaves are going to be red. So I think it's going to look a little bit weird. They're not going to look exactly like trees uh, but hopefully once we put the uh, the berries on uh, you will be able to, to tell uh, that they are uh, they are trees so let's build uh, these uh, all the way to uh, here I think this should be just about the the right size and then I'm gonna build the same this way it's kind of difficult building them because uh, you kind of need to face like this actually if I do uh, a two uh, a time uh, there we go I think this might be a, a quicker way of doing it and then once we've built all of these uh, walls up uh, I can go and start uh, adding on some of the uh, the leaves as well. And then in the uh, the middle area here, uh, there's going to be the entrances, uh, which allow you to go under the uh, the ground. And also the uh, the x-ray pods, which is going to be the, the way uh, you look through the, the ground. And I'm sure that a lot of you are wondering what the uh, the x-ray pods uh, are actually going to, to be. Uh, so once I've uh, finished putting down the, uh, the last of uh, these uh, birchwood planks, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how the x-ray uh, mechanism works. And it's probably a little bit of a, a glitch. Well, I know it is a glitch. <laughs> and uh, at the moment uh, it only works on uh, on consoles uh, you can't do it uh, on the uh, the PC version uh, so yeah if you are on PC then I, I wouldn't even worry about trying it uh, because it doesn't work so uh, for now though it works on Xbox so we're going to make the uh, the most of it so uh, what you need to do is uh, you need two sticky pistons, and then you also need some glowstone. Uh, you could also uh, use TNT, uh, but for safety, <laughs> we're going to use a uh, glowstone here. So uh, all I need to do is go and put down uh, the two um, sticky pistons like this, and then I'm going to put down the glowstone next to it like this. And then all you need to do is be standing there and then have the uh, the pistons extend. So I'm going to do a little trail of uh, redstone uh, just leading to the uh, the pistons, and then add in a, a little lever uh, so that when you uh, you pull it, uh, it's going to make the uh, the pistons uh, extend. So let's go and uh, add this to, to here. Actually, if I just add a, a lever there, this should uh, hopefully work. So let me go and uh, make myself uh, a lever. And whoa, it looks like this, uh, <laughs> that wall has grown uh, quite a lot. And oh, I actually can't make a, um, a piston. There we go. I've got a bunch more birch wood here. Uh, so I can go and make myself a, a lever. Sorry, not a piston. And uh, let's go and see uh, whether this is going to, to work. And it'll give you a good idea of how you can see through the, the floor. So oh, I did that in the wrong place, but it should work anyway. Oh no, it's only doing uh, one of them. Uh, let's go and uh, do the redstone so it goes down a little bit lower maybe is this going to make them both extend you basically need them both oh now it's only doing the the bottom one um it should do both when I do this. There we go. Now it's working. <laughs> so if I stand here and pull this, you can see that. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I can see through the floor. So I can see all of the uh, the caves. You can see all the, the lava down there. And I can see a spider. Can you see all the way down there? There's a spider. Look, look at all the googlies. There's creepers and skeletons and all sorts going on down there. <laughs> Isn't that really cool? And so you could actually use this as a, a good way uh, to find cool caves and maybe find diamonds as well. But what we're going to use this for uh, is to try and find the, uh, the berries. And look, you can see all of the uh, the redstone there <laughs> of the uh, the investigator game it's so cool so that is uh, how uh, the uh, the x-ray pods are, are going to to work anyway i should probably uh, i should probably help building shouldn't i i'm sorry beaver dash i'm going to come and uh, i'll come and help you out it looks like you've done some uh, amazing progress so uh, what we could do now is uh, start uh, adding in uh, some of the uh, the leaves so on the uh, the obsidian side uh, we're going to be using a uh, yellow uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go and uh, climb up here and uh, I need uh, to build the uh, the obsidian up uh, a little bit higher, and uh, then we can go and uh, start adding in uh, some of this uh, this yellow wool. So uh, the good thing about building trees is that you don't need to be exact. Normally when you're building, I'm trying to be very careful that the patterns are all correct and it's all symmetrical. But when you're doing trees, trees are kind of random. So uh, what you can do is just go a little bit crazy. So I'm just going to go and uh, build uh, along the top here and uh, kind of fill it in a, a little bit. So we're covering up the obsidian on the top. And then you can kind of just go crazy and uh, place blocks all over the place uh, to try and make it look random. 
random. Uh, but it's not uh, just going to be a yellow wall. It's going to be a mixture of yellow wall, yellow stained glass, and glowstone. I think just to, to make it look a little bit spacier, I think that's going to be a, a cool way of doing it. So uh, what I can actually do is cheat a bit here, as soon as I, I don't think we've got any more obsidian, and I just go and uh, double up with some of this yellow wall, because uh, a lot of it's going to be covered anyway. Uh, it won't really notice. And yeah, that wasn't <laughs> nearly enough yellow wall, is it? I can go and uh, grab some more. And actually, what we can also be uh, thinking about is uh, doing the... Um uh, doing the uh, the inside, uh, which is actually uh, going to be soul sand. So the, the floor, uh, rather than grass, which uh, you wouldn't really expect uh, to see on an alien planet, uh, all of the uh, the ground here is actually going to, to be made uh, out of uh, out of soul sand. So uh, all the floor here is going to be soul sand, and then in the, the middle uh, is going to be uh, another tree, and uh, that tree is going to be the one that is going to have the berries on. But they're not going to be raspberries or blueberries, they are going to be space berries, so they're going to be uh, weird colours, like the one in here are going to be blue, and then the other ones are going to be green, which probably isn't that, that weird. Actually, both colours aren't too weird for berries. But trust me, they will look weird <laughs> and spacey. And uh, so that's the uh, the idea. So Squishy, if you keep uh, breaking away all of this, I'm going to go and grab some soul sand and I can start filling it in. Of course, uh, you do uh, run a little bit slower on the uh, the soul sand, but it doesn't really matter too much. I think it's uh, uh, quite a good spacey block. It's a bit of a shame, though, because uh, if I could, I would actually use other materials. Instead of the, uh, the sandstone, I think it would have been cool to use uh, end stone, uh, but sadly I can't uh, because uh, I can't go to the, the end in my world. Uh, because I made it so long ago, uh, they didn't have strongholds yet. And uh, instead of the uh, the soul sand, I would have liked to have used mycelium. Because right? so I think that would have been a really cool, like, spacey grass. Uh, but sadly, uh, I don't have a, a proper mushroom biome, so I don't have mycelium either. But it's okay. Uh, we can uh, make do uh, with what we have. And I think it's going to, to look pretty cool anyway. And it does look quite spacey already. I think once these actually look like proper trees, uh, rather than walls, uh, it's going to, to look uh, even better than it does now. So let's go and uh, try and place down the, uh, the last of the, uh, the soul sand. Uh, I have a around here and it's also getting quite dark and uh, as I saw under the ground uh, yeah there's lots of googlies around here so it's going to be a good idea to, to go to sleep soon I can also uh, go and throw some torches around for now uh, but eventually uh, there's going to, to be no torches here. It's going to be uh, all glowstone lighting the, the area up. Uh, because, yeah, torches uh, wouldn't work in space. Without oxygen, uh, then fire cannot burn. So it would not uh, work otherwise. And oh, I realize I need to break away the, the top here. Uh, otherwise, we're going to, to get stuck inside. But anyway, uh, let's all go and uh, head to, to bed now uh, so we can go to sleep. And then in the other uh, morning, uh, we can see if we can go and try and get the, uh, the rest of this area uh, finished off. I want to, to make sure uh, that it does look like uh, we do have a, a bunch of trees here uh, rather than just big walls with yellow at the, the top at the, uh, the moment, <laughs> which is uh, a little bit uh, what it looks like. So there we go. Uh, Viva Dash has just uh, gone to, to bed as well. And in the morning, let's go and uh, carry on building. So uh, what I might start doing then is I'm going to grab some of this red wool. And I think there's some more in the, the chest here as well. Yep, uh, a little bit more red wool here as well. And I'm going to go and start uh, trying to, to build up uh, the uh, the trees on this side over here uh, so we can see what this side's going to, to look like. So let's go and grab some dirt as uh, just so I can pile up on the... Oh, nope, that would be redstone. <laughs> okay, grab some dirt uh, so I can pile up on the, the top here. And uh, let's go and fill it all in. And uh, you can see there, uh, Viva Dash is going and uh, adding in uh, all of the uh, the soul sand on this side as well. And then all we need to do is uh, go and add the uh, the trees in the the middle. And then what the uh, the plan is is that we're actually going to build uh, rooms underneath the uh, the soul sand uh, because when you're looking through the the blocks in the the X-ray pod and all. Oh, Careful, Barnaby. You can sit down for now. I'll let you down in a minute, but for now you can sit down. It's a little bit dangerous up here. <laughs> yeah, when you look through the, the blocks, when all of the other uh, blocks are right next to each other, you just look through all of them, uh, which means if I did the x-ray pod looking down there and there were no gaps, uh, we basically wouldn't see anything. We'd look straight through it and just see all of the uh, the tunnels underneath again. So we're actually going to build rooms underneath the, the floor here. Uh, so you're basically, rather than burying the berry, you're kind of just placing them in an underground alien cave, basically. That's what the uh, the idea is. Uh, otherwise, it just just wouldn't work. It also uh, makes it a lot easier. Actually, you don't need to, to worry about doing loads of digging and things all the time. You can kind of just go down, uh, place your, your five berries, and then go up to the uh, the top and uh, go and uh, and switch sides. So it's going to be, um, there's a few things you need to be good at. First, you need good berry placement. When you're placing the, the berries for the other person, you need to try and place them in a, a sneaky way, uh, so it's going to be difficult to remember. Then you also need to be good at remembering, but also just good at judging distance and perspective, because you know, if there's a berry far away, you might think it's closer to the wall than it is, uh, so you've got to be quite good at judging it and it uh, might seem quite simple but it's quite a, a big area and it's hard to be exact I think a lot of the time uh, we're going to be very close uh, to, to guessing uh, the, the right place but not exact so it's going to be uh, a very challenging game but I like challenging games they're always uh, good fun because you can uh, start off not very good at them 
And then you can go and just uh, gradually start getting better and better. Uh, so right, we've started filling it in a little bit. I kind of want to randomize it a little bit more. I think we're kind of just uh, building straight lines too much. It's kind of good uh, at first just to build straight lines uh, around the edge. And then afterwards, you kind of want to go a little bit crazy and uh, place blocks everywhere and uh, just try and make it look uh, a whole load uh, more random. Because remember, it's not just going to be this uh, this wall. Uh, we're also going to add in the uh, the stained glass and all of the uh, the glowstone as well, uh, just to make it look uh, a little bit more spacey, which is uh, uh, what the, uh, the plan is. So. Uh, what I might do, uh, once I've finished doing this wall around the outside, is I might... Oh, no, looks like I've finished already because I ran out of wool. <laughs> so, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to jump down into the, the middle and I'm going to go and start building the uh, the trees uh, that are going to be uh, in the, the very middle of the, the area. So I need to hopefully grab some more red wool. Yep, uh, there's a bunch more red wool here. And uh, I also need birch wood, which I already have. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to go now and build the, the trees. So these are going to be the, the trees uh, that are going to have the uh, the berries on to, to start with. Uh, and then basically, uh, you need to go and grab the berries from these trees in the, the beginning uh, before you go and bury them. So I kind of want to work out the exact middle. Is this the middle here? Uh, how many to the wall? One, two, three, four, five. And then on this side, one, two, three, four, five. And is it in the middle this side? I think it is. I think I randomly placed it in the exact middle. That's very lucky. <laughs> so then I'm going to go and build up here. It could probably go slightly higher than the the other trees. Let's go to about here and uh, now I need to try and basically uh, make this uh, look like a, like a real tree. So that's going to be the uh, the top of the tree. And I'm going to go and build the uh, the rest around here like this and I need to remember to get Barnaby down as well So I've kind of left him at the top. <laughs> he can admire the view. It's uh, quite a pretty view for there and I kind of left him up there for his own safety. So uh, let's go and uh, build uh, around here like this. This is looking a bit more like a, a tree. The problem when you're building them so close together is it's kind of hard to tell if they're trees. You don't want it to, to look like a, a wall. But then again, I do want to, to fill the the entire area in because uh, otherwise people are just going to wander off so actually I think I'm not supposed to place that one there I just want this to to kind of look like a relatively normal tree uh, apart from the uh, the colors really as let's go and uh, fill this in here like this and I might go down a little bit further. I want to make sure it's very easy uh, for you to, to be able to, to reach uh, all of the uh, the berries that are going to, to be on top of it. So I might even go uh, down one more and then just build out slightly uh, there. And then you can very easily go and grab all of the, the berries. And it's going to be green berries uh, on this side here. So uh, let me just go and uh, build out a little bit more and uh, make it look a little bit more like a real tree. If I go and do this uh, same pattern uh, on all the, the different sides. And I could also add some, uh, some glowstone and some uh, stained glass uh, to, to this tree as well just so it looks like uh, it matches uh, all of the the other ones so there we go here's my nice alien tree and uh, now i'm going to go and put in my space berries i'm going to put one there i'll put one up here uh, one here one here one here so what you'll do is you'll pick the uh, the berries from the uh, the tree and then you'll come down here and then this area here is where there's going to be a, a little staircase going down uh, to where you can go and uh, hide them uh, underneath the uh, the ground but i don't think uh, we're going to worry about building the uh, the underground rooms uh, yet uh, today so what i might do is actually do a little bit of work on this area here. So the ground is going to be sandstone, but then it's also going to have the uh, the stained clay as well. So it's going to be kind of mainly sandstone, but then just have little patches of stained clay on it as well. So let me just kind of show you what the, the pattern looks like. I think it looks kind of slightly alien-y. <laughs> like, I didn't want it to look just like any specific planet. I wanted it to look like a mysterious faraway planet. So I didn't want to base it off the other uh, moon or anything. And as I said, it would have been lovely to, to have endstone, but sadly, I do not have any. Uh, so I think this is uh, just about the uh, the best I could do, uh, but I still think it does look rather cool. So let's go uh, now in and uh, try and fill in uh, this sandstone in the floor. And then every now and then, I'm just going to kind of do just random polka dots uh, of the uh, the stained clay. And then this is also uh, what the, the underground uh, is going to look like. You know, the underground rooms I told you about, like the uh, the caves, uh, they are also uh, going to be the same pattern. Uh, but then also just random bits of uh, glowstone in them as well, uh, just to light up the, uh, the area. And it looks like I've run out of sandstone already, but I do have uh, absolutely loads uh, left in this chest uh, over here. Uh, so I can go and carry on filling it in. And I might uh, go now and uh, try doing some of the uh, the trees on the uh, the obsidian side as well and uh, add in some of uh, those berries. Let's just go and see uh, how it's all looking so far. Let's see uh, how good my Minecraft helpers have been doing. Here we go. This is starting to look uh, a little bit better, isn't it? So what we can do is I just go around the edge and just start throwing in uh, a bunch of random blocks. If we kind of just do this every now and then and just have some bits hanging down a little bit further, uh, then that way it just doesn't look as neat. I don't want it to look neat. I want it to look like it's wild and just been uh, growing on an alien planet for years and years. So I can go and uh, just put some of these blocks uh, down here uh, around there like that. And already it's starting to look uh, a little bit better. I'm starting to feel like I'm on an alien planet. <laughs> Let's see uh, how things are going on uh, this side over here. Oh, this is looking good as well. So if we go and just uh, start putting some of this... Uh, uh, 
stained glass around the area as well, and uh, also some of this uh, this glowstone. Uh, I think this is going to uh, start looking really cool. So let's just start uh, throwing some of this uh, around here. Uh, you're very well camouflaged up there, Squishy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as I said, there's no uh, there's no real pattern to this. There's not adding too much or not enough. Uh, you can just go absolutely crazy and just uh, start throwing all of these uh, these things all over the place. Uh, it's a little bit annoying uh, getting around on the uh, the soul sand. I will be honest. <laughs> it looks really cool. It's annoying that you go slow, uh, but luckily uh, there's no point where you're going to need to to walk around really fast uh, on the uh, the ground here. Uh, so it doesn't really matter too much. Let me just go and uh, put some more glowstone around here. And I think it's going to look really cool uh, at night uh, when it's all uh, lit up. I think that is when it's going to look really cool. So what I need to do now is uh, try and uh, add the uh, the tree uh, in the uh, the very middle uh, of the uh, the room over there. So I need some uh, obsidian and uh, also some more yellow wool. And then the, the berries on this side are going to be blueberries. But they're not going to be the normal blueberries that we uh, normally see. Uh, they're going to be special space berries. And uh, does anyone else have any uh, any spare yellow wool at all because i've only got two blocks you have any spare yellow wool anyone aha of course, Squishy has the, the yellow wall. <laughs> Her favorite color. Right, let me go and grab this. And uh, while I'm building this, uh, you guys can just keep adding uh, as much uh, red and yellow wall on these just to try and fill them out and uh, make them look like uh, better trees. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's see if I can get lucky again and try and get it right in the, the middle. About uh, here. Is that the very middle of the room? Um, I think it might be. I think I might have actually done it. I'm trying to just guess. And I think I have. I think I've guessed perfectly the middle of the room again. I'm getting quite good at that. Right, so let's go and build up. Uh, I'm going to build up to about the, uh, the same height as I did the other one. I think it was about this tall. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a, a pretty similar tree, uh, to what I did on the, uh, the other side. And, uh, yeah, then I can go and add the, the berries on here. And then after that, the only other real thing we need to do is, of course, build the, uh, the x-ray pods themselves, uh, which is very important for the, uh, the game to, to work. And then also the uh, the underground caves and uh, then we'll be ready uh, to play berry berry 2 and i think that's what i'm gonna call it I'm not 100%. I'm thinking of just calling it Berry Berry 2. Maybe like Berries in Space or something. <laughs> like the uh, the sequel. Ber what about Berries Berry Berries 2 in Space? I think that's what the uh, the game's going to be called. So let me go and uh, build this one down here. I'm getting a, a lot quicker at building since I had the, the practice building the, the last one. And then on the, the final bit, I'm just going to build out a little bit wider like this. And then, oh no, I ran out of yellow wool again. Squishy, uh, do you have any more yellow wool at all that you can, uh, you can throw me? And uh, while she's doing that, I'm going to go and get a, a few bits of, uh, of my uh, blueberries, and I can start placing them on the, the underneath here like this. Squishy, to my rescue! <laughs> of course she's got some more yellow wool. Right, let me go and uh, grab this, and I can go and start putting it uh, on the, uh, the tree. Whoa, it's all over the place. <laughs> yeah, so let's go and uh, place it on this side here as well. And I think I need one more block down there. And then this side I need to add it to as well. Uh, just like this. And then once I put the uh, the last of my blueberries on, I think it's starting to look pretty good. I like it. Don't you think this looks pretty cool? I'm going to go and climb up on the uh, the top and uh, see what it looks uh, what it looks like uh, from a little bit higher up. So let me go and uh, pile up a little bit more dirt here uh, next to the, the other dirt. And then uh, we can see what it looks like. So this is the, uh, the, the red side over here. And then I can't really see too well. But if I pile up here, uh, you can see there's the, uh, the yellow side there. I think this is starting uh, to look pretty awesome. So as I mentioned, uh, in the uh, the next episode, uh, we're going to come back here, and I'm going to build the uh, the X-ray pods, uh, so that the uh, the game is going to, to actually work. And then, yeah, uh, after that, we can have ourselves a Berry Berry 2 in space tournament. <laughs> oh dear, but sadly, uh, we have just about run out of time in uh, this episode here, so I want to say a big thank you uh, to Squishy and Viva Dash uh, for joining and uh, helping me so much. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's the, uh, the end of the episode. So thank you all very much for watching as well, and I will see you all later. Bye!